<laughs> What's up, fellow Sambarians? Um, hold on one second. Um, <laughs> what's up, guys? So, uh, today was gonna do, today I was going to do, um, kind of a little video on, um, maybe your van doesn't have this, so you're not aware that this, uh, well, the grab handle, OS handle, whatever you want to call it, um, the sandbar vans, the Diaz, um, probably the Domingos as well. They had grab handles in the back. Um, when I got this van um, from Larry, it did not have grab handles in it. And feeling around back here, you can uh, feel the holes where the grab handle would have been. So obviously this was certain trim packages that came with grab handles in the back. Um, this van did not come with grab handles. There are no holes in the headliner. Um, where they would have gone before so um, Obviously this fan did never come with them did not ever come with them. Um, the only reason I noticed that it had grab handles was uh, Will in the sandbar squad sent me a picture of His van squished in his garage and I noticed he had grab handles. I'm like, hey, I don't have any grab handles What the heck? So there's a guy actually in uh, Hawaii parting out a van that he got. Um, if you're looking for any particular parts from a van, um, you can message me and I'll uh, get you in contact with him um, and see if he still has that part available. I ended up getting the carpet for the deck here because the deck did not have carpet when I got it. Um, I had painted the deck black so it wasn't so rusty looking, but I got the carpet for the deck here which will look better than just black metal. Uh, the air box on mine is kind of busted, so I got an air box so, and some other stuff and these grab handles So I was just gonna show you guys how to install them or you know It's not very difficult, but if you didn't know they were there you wouldn't see the holes because it's hidden behind the headliner and Just show you how to mount them up and I I have some of these coming from Japan so as soon as I get them in um, I'll put them up in the OK Garage Parts Store, so uh, if you're interested in adding these guys to the back, I mean, just kind of completes the look, I think, a little bit, um, I will have these for sale. So, first of all, they're super nasty. These things are usually always nasty. Um, but I'm going to show you a trick on how to clean them up and make them look, like, brand new. So I already did clean one and then realized, ah, I'll just film it. But I still have one more dirty one. So, so it's it's pretty nasty looking, pretty ratty. So this is this is the this is the trick that I have. Take a. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, you can take anything. I like to use the OxyClean, um, carpet cleaner, but this is Turtle Wax carpet cleaner and just kind of spray it on a rag. So you kind of saw how it looked before. Kind of just wipe it down real quick. Let it really soak in. And, then, and give it a good Good old rub. No tug, just rub. This one's super, this one's pretty nasty. So this one's gonna take a little bit of work. So actually, I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to clean plastics, but this is what I do. Multi-purpose use for the carpet cleaner, I guess. 
but oh god dang. I'd say that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now that my hands are all slimy. So this is what we're gonna do now. So, uh, so you're gonna need to uh, pop the cover off of it, which I'll just, he put the screws in them, so I'll just pop the screws up. But when you pry these covers off, be careful. Try not to use something sharp because uh, you can damage the plastic. little marks so now that that's all cleaned up let's bring you uh, we have my hands all slimy now let's uh bring you guys inside and so you can see where they're supposed to go okay so if yours already has handles disregard or if your handles are nasty um it's a good way to clean them up so uh as you can see i have a hole uh, i have a hole here but that hole was for something that he had mounted uh that the guy who owned this prior to importing uh he had some like crossbars in here probably to hang a curtain on or something this van was used for like catching wild animals so uh it was probably to keep the animals from flying up to the front of his van but if you feel along the top there's a hole right here and there's a hole right here so those are what we're gonna poke into so i have a handy dandy uh utility knife so I'm just gonna poke, put a little cross where the one is and a little cross where the second one is. Perfect. So now we can uh, put them in. So you shouldn't, you should not have to, you should not have to drill any holes for these. They should, I think they should already be there. So if you're drilling holes, then um, I would probably uh, make sure you're finding the right spot as to where they are supposed to go. Let's see. Put the caps back on the screws. Give it a little wipe, wipey wipe. Yeah, and there you go. That is a. Uh, there's your grab handle. Yeah. So yeah, if your van did not have grab handles, or if they did have them, good for you. I <laughs> did not. So that's how you uh, install them. Um, and you now know there are holes up there hidden behind the headliner so you can put these guys in. So yeah, cool. Uh, that was that was pretty much it. A little short, short little uh, secret how to um, on grab handles on your sandbar Diaz. Awesome, cool. Take it easy, guys.